All right, let's go. Three, two, one, go! I want to see someone in chat be like, wait, Mitch, I'm not ready. All right, here we go. Both runners, their timers are synced, and you love to see this, guys. This is a fantastic thing, man, that we got going on. We got Maiba versus Brosis. Now, Maiba definitely has the hand here with speed because he has a very high PBs. I'm pretty sure he's second place. He's either second or third place in 100%, and he's climbing down the ranks in Warpless. So, um, he's really going to have to show off some of his skill. I think he's the only person in the tournament... Either one or two, I can't remember, who has a sub-54 in this. So this could be very exciting. <gasps> Not getting P-Speed, almost taking damage. He's going to have to get the backup P-Speed. Meanwhile, Brosis is going to get the early P-Speed. Catch up a little bit of time. As you can see, Brosis is getting hit with a little bit of nerves, but he should be able to shake that off very shortly. Very shortly. I always get, I always get beginner runner nerves, man. Always. All right. They both have stars. This could be pretty scary. While these guys are in the fortress, we can look at the tracker and see that there's only two points in world one that you can get you have the bro jump and you have staying ducking on the ship the entire time make my puppets dance all right here we go maiba getting the clutch leaf grab and same with brosis looks like they're both going to be heading to one five right now still no points yet to be grabbed no early hammer brothers so they're just kind of just kind of getting their way through we have seen way worse mistakes than what brosis is doing in world one and they still clutch in with the win so it's always anyone's game. And Maiba going for the clutch MFP tunnel. Can we get MFP tunnel in the chat, please? Brosis in a very sticky situation, man. He could take a death here. He's going to have to go nice and slow, though. I don't blame him. Yeah, nice and slow. Wait for that fire to go, and he's out of there. Nice. Dude, that was some good problem solving right there. Some people kind of rush, right? You get your head stuck in the ceiling. All these bad things start to happen, so... No runner getting the fanfare. That is great to see at the start. And looks like Maiba is on his way out of World 1, the last level, and he is done. Boom, out of there. All right, Brosis, he's going to have to grab the backup mushroom right here. He's going to do the bounce, fall down, boom, boom, and grab it. Nice, just like that. And he is out of there. Bounce off there. No frame perfect jump for Maiba. This could be big for Brosis. This could be big for Brosis, man. Yeah, he's going to have to go back, kind of build up his P-Speed again. Doesn't get it again, man. This level... Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, he got it. Not a big deal, though. Not a big deal. This is still anyone's situation, right? We've we've seen this so many times before. We've seen this so many times before. All right. Does he get the frame jump, though? He needs it, man. And here goes Maiba with the ducking. Oh, and he does not get the frame jump. That was crucial, man. That was his opportunity to get a one-point lead on him. Especially if Maiba messes up the duck here. That would be really interesting. Let's see how this is going to go. Maiba does have to grab the fire flower from the block, or maybe he doesn't. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what he decides to do here. It looks like he's going to go for it. Does he stand? He has not stood up yet, though. This is big. Looking good. And then here comes Brosis. All right. Brosis, I want to see him shake off those nerves, man. For anyone wondering, in the bracket, there you go, and he does get it, in the bracket, all right? Maiba's first race, he got 38. Rosa's first race, or sorry, first match, okay? So, within two races, Maiba got 37, or 38 points. In two races, Brosis got 37. So, these runners have a one-point difference in their match. So, this could be big be big oh and Brosis stands up that is going to be hard for him man he does have a lot of work for him to catch up here not the end of the world though not the end of the world and just like that we are on to world two spice land heat heat land all right might be going for speed, speed strategies looking pretty good bounce 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 d lag it's the music note and he's out of there once you get past those music notes, the rest of this level is very easy. It's very open, you can see. Big, big stuff. Got the two stars. Man, if Maiba gets a fanfare, that is going to be a pretty big surprise there. Goes for the double shots. Gets the slide. Almost falls in the sand. Is he going to fall in the mode of tears? I don't know. 
And while Bros is also gonna do the same peace beat strategies, look at these runners, man. They know their levels. Oh, misses the music note. But he is gonna be able to keep that peace speed, which means that mistake is not a big deal. All right, Maiba's uh, card and level cards are opened up now. He can now try and get the Flower Star Mushroom. Still getting a movement of two, though. That's good for him. Bros is guaranteed a movement of two here. Maiba doing a turn back, getting the early P speed. It is now Bros' turn for 2-2. Two, two. Ooh, falls into the sand, but he is going to be able to get out of there very fast. Sometimes the sand can lock you in. The sand always reminds me of that, like, death water in the original Metroid, where you, like, can't get- it's like phase on. I don't even know what it is in the original Metroid, but... I think it's lava, right? The Magmore Caverns or whatever of Metroid 1. Anyways! So Maiba is going to have slight advantage here having Fire Flower for the Boom Boom. Bros is still getting movements of two. Maiba. Movement of two still. Wow, talk about getting lucky. And Bros is going to get back up peace speed, so he's going to be good here. He's going to be pretty good. We have seen lots of differences with Fire Flower versus not having Fire Flower in World 2. And we do know it is a couple second advantage here and there. Boom, in the doorway, done. I just got to wait for the little um, spike. I don't know, what, you, what would you call those? Elevators, I guess? They go up and down? Who knows? Maiba starting off strong with the flower. And Bros is gonna have to do a stomp on the Bam Bams. Gotta watch out for those boys. Nether movement of two. Holy crap, Maiba is getting extremely lucky with these movements of two. Because both Bros are probably doing movements of one. Meanwhile, Bros is, is getting... Oh my god, Bros has got a movement of four. Close to an early hammer. Maiba doing a little slip up here. Is he going to be able to get the sun? The sun doing five rotations. And that is not the kind of pattern he wants to see from the sun. Losing a couple seconds. Meanwhile, Brosis is smashing his way through 2-3. Maiba getting the, the star here. So is Brosis going to be able to get the flower? As he practices flowers. He does get the flower and Maiba gets another movement of two. He's in a situation where it's so hard to get movements of two. Oh, and he messes up, but he doesn't get punished. The hammer brother below Brosis right now is the one with the hammer, so he does want to go down, which is pretty good because 2-4 is a nightmare in speedrunning. Oh, and Maiba! <laughs> what? And Brosis, the shell going right through the sun. The sun only doing two rotations, though, and then he does get the sun. Jesus, Maiba still getting movements of two. Both runners. Oh, and he doesn't. He gets the two... This could be scary, man. The flowers, trust me. I know the pain, man. I know that pain. Yeah, no, that's the wrong bro. Not the right bro. Unless I'm wrong, but I don't think so. Yeah, not the right bro. The hammer brother with the hammer faces left. Does this result in a movement of one? It does not, but he is going to go down and grab it. Just like that. And Maiba getting the star, not the flower. Bat, what are you doing? He still gets a movement of two! What in the actual? This is his last movement. Dude, if he gets this, this will be ridiculous. Oh my god, Flower. Oh my gosh, dude. No way. But Brosis also gets the Flower, so he's not knocked out here. Right, very nice 2-4 right there. He's gonna go for the less distance traveled, right? Less map traveled right there. Boom, and he doesn't get the fanfare. That's really good for him. I don't know how, man. I don't know how Maiba got all movements of two. But he is one lucky bug. I'm gonna need someone to go back to guarantee that Brosis also didn't get all- Oh! Brosis with the uh, swip swap of the shell. But he's good. That's an unfortunate thing, man. That's some screen, screen scroll stuff. If you don't screw. If you don't scroll the screen enough, the shell can bounce off the wall, but it will not break it. Random, I know. Random. All right, here we go. Gets the flower. He is on his way. That was a movement of one. Very unfortunate. That's okay. Big time difference here, but anything can happen to both of these runners. Remember, you got Runaway Bro, right? You got Runaway Bro, you got the hands. You got the Hammer Brothers in World 4. So many things can happen. A 940 
is not something that one that some of the pro runners are gonna want to see. Maiba grabbed the one at 940. What you want to see is like a 921. That is so you know he is definitely behind. Brosis is behind as well. But Maiba has a substantial lead on Warpless PB over Brosis. I think Brosis got a 52 something. Unless he's PB'd recently, I'm not entirely sure. Regardless, these runners have both put up very big scores in their first match, so they're even, in my opinion. Right? Alright, here we go. I mean, Maiba getting incredibly lucky with those all moving to two. That is not a point that we have seen very often in this tournament. I think three times, that's it. And according to speed, I mean, that's incredibly unlucky. Super good luck in the tournament. Very bad luck in a warpless run. Alright, Bros is gonna go for the fire kill. Not quite sure what kind of pattern he was gonna get. I don't blame a man, can be very scary. Alright, this is where things start to spice up for Maiba in World 3. Things start to take a huge turn right here. Nice, and he does get the bounces. He is not in coin ship zone either. And just like that, he is out of 3-2. One of the scarier levels, especially for PSP strategies. Maiba done with three cards. He is now going to start a fresh new slot here. And he, what he wants is definitely a fire flower. Not getting... Uh, he's probably pretty calm right now with Runaway Bro. I don't think he's too worried. And here comes Brosis coming in hot. Brosis is like, all right, I'm done with the little mistakes that I know I don't need to be making. Ooh, Maiba almost. Maiba, or Maiba does get the flower. That is really good. Dude, if he would have got two more coins, he would have been very close to a coin ship range. And just like that, this could be really bad for him. He might have to take... Oh, and he gets door three! Just like that! We saw him practicing earlier. He gets door three. Alright, Brosis. Here it is, man. Level two. Three, two. Knock over the P-Speed strat. Probably feels like he's been a little shaky this run. Does not need to uh, bleed any more time. Just like that, Maiba smashes through. And Brosis also smashes through here. Oh, and Brosis does get the flower star mushroom. And just like that, he's catching up in points. Maiba almost close. He's right there. Nice. Brosis doesn't get runaway, bro. He does use a music box, though. This could be clutch. Oh, and Maiba going for the no water battles before the special pile. He does get a little cluster, but he goes for the star first so that his inventory is clean. We have not seen this strategy yet done. There we go. Get those extra coins on Brosis' side. That is a very, very good play. Maiba is going to go for inventory and no water battles first. He could have got the full clear here. Didn't want to chance it though. I think because he, I think it's because he doesn't want to do um, mushroom houses. Where Brosis has done a mushroom house, so he is safe. Brosis got to get this door three to keep up. Ah, oh, and he does not get the door three. That is unfortunate. We wanted it. We wanted him to have that door three. We needed him to have that door three, but he's not too far behind, right? He's not that far behind. He's behind in time, but as you guys seen, time's not everything. And Maiba not getting the Flower Star Mushroom. We have seen this with lots of runners. It seems like the Flower Star Mushroom and the Roulette game doesn't matter how good you are. It's not happening sometimes. It's just not happening. All right, let's see. He's going to get the special tile right there on Bros's side. He does activate it, and that's all you need to do. Boom, right there. Hopefully he can avoid runaway and water tile. He needs to move left or down, and he does move down. So it looks like he's going to avoid the water tile. And just like that, guys, nine to eight right there. Nine to eight. However, Maiba does have an advantage with some of these uh, skilled points. Maiba can still catch up with the Flower Star Mushroom and Fire Flower in the Mushroom House, right? Where Brosis does have those. But he needed to get those to catch up to the, the, the ducking on the airship. He didn't get that. But he made up for it with the flower and the flower star mushroom. That is a pretty big deal on his side. He didn't get door three, and that's why he is behind by one point. Incredible. He is definitely two levels behind, as you can see, and his inventory is looking good. 
He's gonna want to use that hammer before he uses a fire flower. Didn't get a chance to see Maiba's inventory, but I'm pretty sure he's good uh, from getting the star before the hammer. All right. Just like that. want to see an ace jump from Brosis. We know he can do it. Let's see what kind of setup he has. He's got the bounce. No turn back, but he's going to be... Oh, he could have saved it, man. That was very close. He knew he could have saved it, too. I could tell by the way he was moving Mario, but he was... it's a very hard save, so don't blame him, man. Can't blame him. But he is throwing up some very good points here. Does he have his own tracker out right now? He doesn't. He does have his timer out, though. Just like that. One on the airship, one getting off the airship, one getting on the airship. We have seen this before, so, um, gonna be hard. No runaway bros, though, so this is, um, man. Could be anything right here. Nine to eight. This is a great race one, right? If, if we only see, like, a three-point di uh, difference at the end of this race, man, oh, man. Here we go. Maiba entering the first world where you get punished for not going fast. Right there, if you do not get a 288 or higher in your timer, you will get punished. Sorry. It's just the way it is. Boom! Getting that piece speed very, very nicely done. He has joined the I'm Faster Than Mitch Club in 4-1. It's a very prestige club, man. There's only like six people in that club. Nice! He does have Mushroom though, so he's still, he's still not gonna be able to get that, uh, Flower Star Mushroom. But he- Oh, and a movement of four right there, he does not want to see that, that's going to allow Brosis to catch up a little bit here and there. Gets the despawn strat, if you shoot that red turtle shell, you will despawn that the plant. Um, so that's some of those little things- Oh, and he gets the cheap cheap acting cheap, and just like that. Brosis should be able to catch up with a little bit of time here. No lifelines used. All right, here we go, Maiba. He's gotta not make any mistakes. You can make a couple, right? You see how he did a turn back there? Not the end of the world. Doing a turn back is not the end of the world. You wanna side jump off that beetle so you don't jump into the side of the hill. Very important, oh! And he goes for a little turn back shoot strategy. He does not like that duck jump. And it looks like he is not going to be punished. 289. Does get a flower though, you guys see that? He does get a flower. Brosis, you are now in world four. Time to catch up, my dude. Brosis, or sorry, Maiba is not gonna go for the mushroom nest. Let's take a look at his inventory. Looking pretty clean right there. Looking pretty clean. Nice, Brosis, I like your strategy. I wonder where you learned it, man. I should maybe try that for myself because it looks very consistent and comfortable. Very nice strategy on Brosis' side. I like to see it. All right, is Maiba gonna get sniped? Almost, he almost got sniped. He was swim swimming blind there for a second. Does he get a star though? He does get a star. And just like that, ooh, Brosis getting a movement of two, three, four actually. Also getting a movement of four, getting the despawn strats too. And here we go, just like that. Maiba might be stuck in a situation that he can't get out of for this point. He does need the P-Wing. Gonna be the Hammer Brother. Ooh, and he has to. Use a music box. I wonder, he, I wonder if he's gonna do Mushroom House. We've seen, we've seen these plays before. This is very exciting. All right, Brosis now in the punishment level. And Maiba does get the Flower Star Mushroom right there. Brosis in the punishment level. Things are looking good for him. He does run down the hill. Let's see how this duck jump goes. Oh, and he gets stopped by the duck jump, but he's not gonna lose time there. So he is not going to get punished. And that is a you love to see it moment. Maiba does get early P-Speed right there, so he's gonna get some more points. Bros is gonna have to collect some of these points. All right, he's gonna use his hammer. Inventory looking clean. He does have the extra fire flower, which I do wanna see him equipped right now. Gets the cloud first. 
All right, he's gonna get the P-Wing, it looks like, right there. Is he gonna equip the Fire Flower? Not yet, he does get the P-Wing after the Cloud Maiba with these crazy, crazy cars right here. Doesn't fight the star, but he needs to fight the star so that the wash out his inventory. Gross is taking damage, that's okay. He does have the extra Fire Flower, but he is swimming blind. Yep, I'd go down there too, man. Black 2's gonna throw two spinies right there. One, two, you should be in the clear. <gasps> oh man, that was scary, but he's good. All right, now would be a great time for Brosis to equip that Fire Flower. And just like that, Maiba is on his way out of that world. Incredible. We don't know, he doesn't know. I don't think, I don't, yeah, use that music box. Use that Fire Flower. Oh, no fire, why not, right? Why not? This is scary. You're in scary territory. He's gonna get this mushroom though. So I think he's gonna be good. He can't afford to bleed more time against Maiba, but he he is going to be get, collecting his own points, which is good. Oh, just like that. All right, here we go. Early P speed. He has multiple attempts. Oh wait, he's gonna want to grab Fire Flower. Oh, he gets his own early P-Speed. I've never even seen that one before. Right on, dude. Right on, I love that. Just like that, early P-Speed. And then he's gonna go get the P-Wing. He's gonna get the P-Wing point, And just like that, he's going to be able to stay with Maiba in points. He, he is behind a little bit, but man, oh man. It's not the end. Now, is he going to do Mushroom House or not? That's the question. Is he gonna do Star? He's gonna do Star, that's a good choice, man. A little bit faster than the Mushroom House and an item that you can actually use for sure. Alrighty then. Oh, he's gonna do Mushroom House as well. He wants to make sure his inventory is nice and clean. Just like that. Boom. Mushroom House. Now he can get the P-Wing. I don't know. I don't know what that Mushroom House was for. He already had the uh, buffer. Maybe he uses a star before he uses a uh, P-Wing, right? Who knows? All right, just like that, Maiba is out of World 4 as Brosis enters. 22-22, uh, Maiba grabs the one. So let's see when Brosis grabs. It's gonna be about two minutes behind. Be about two minutes behind. All right, let's go to the second half of the card for Maiba. Hi, buddy. Come on. Come on. There you go. Had to bust out the quick cat strats, just just like that. Take a sip of the water. All right, here we go. No bumps. Maiba's going fast, so is he gonna be able to calm down and make sure he doesn't get bumps, right? See, see what kind of points he's dealing with here. It's the double shot. He's gonna do the drop down, double shoot. Boom. One, two, P speed. Yeah, five, uh, five, one was always an interesting level as a kid, right? It just seemed unique and out of place, which made it good, right? I don't know. World five had very strange levels. And, you know, back then there was no real strange. I mean, Mario didn't have a, you know, an exact routine that it always followed. But now it does. All right, not falling down the shaft of shame. He's going to do the butt slides to freedom. Whee! And right into that pipe. And not much going on in Bro Society. He's just on the most exciting auto scroller in the, in the world. They just love watching it, man. It's so great. Yeah. All right, here we go. Movement of four. You hate to see it. Oh, man, if he gets that P-Wing. Let's see if he gets it. His inventory is toast. Ooh, he doesn't. Maiba is paying attention. He is on the ball, man. He is not messing around. He, he wants 700 US dollars. He, he lives in Japan. He wants 700 US dollars. That's clearly that's by the way he's playing right now. But Barosis wants it too, man. Both runners are playing extremely serious, and I love to see that, man. I love it. All right, here we go. Hammer Brothers move back. Gonna have to use the extra music box. Does he have an extra music box? No, so he's gonna go for the star. So he is now forced to double Hammer Brothers. 
Now, of course, the double hammer, brother. There we go. Any bumps? Oh, and there's a bump! And just like that, he does not get it. He was practicing the roulette game. Is he going to nail it? Mushroom. Mushroom. Oh, and he gets the mushroom very fast. He's going to be able to save some time from that. Incredible. All right, Bros' turn. Maiba has now bumped, so he does not care what happens. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen. Going to be able to catch up. However, Brosis is going to be able to try and get the no bumps. We have other people watching Brosis' stream right now listening to the audio, so we will get confirmation from bumps versus no bumps. He's definitely going to play it slow here. Maiba, not going to be able to get the full clear world 5. That bump, man, I told you. That's a serious point. I mean, that's an easy point for some... Oh! Is he going to get the 280? He can make a slight mistake here. So let's see how this goes. He can't miss a pipe, though. 287. 6. 5. 4. 3. 2. 1. Oh, and he just gets it. Wow. Very close. All right, Brosis. Gonna get the movement of four, go through the pipe. Maiba on one of the harder- Oh, and he gets the, uh, the lay jump, which is totally free. No bumps on Bros' side, he is now in the fortress. Oh, and he takes a slip and falls into the swamp. I'm gonna have to get a point lost there from that. But he is going to be able to get the star, though, so that's good. Right, he needs the diffuse. I don't know what you want to call it, but... Get that star, so his inventory is still good. Not the end of the world, though. I hope Rosas knows it's not the end of the world. Alright, there we go. No bumps on his side still. Oh, Brosis has no audio. Okay, so we're gonna have to watch Brosis screen. Very interesting. No audio, so we're gonna have to keep our eyes peeled. You can see when bumps happen. When bump, bumps happen, so we're gonna have to pay very close attention here. As by the way, he's moving on the map, you can tell. Mushroom! Flower! Not gonna get that roulette though, but he does want those points. Alright, he's gonna have to grab his P Wing here. He does have a fire flower, which I highly recommend. Most runners will do the Twisty Castle as Big Mario, so doing it as Small Mario. It uh, really changes how you have to jump up into the to the pipes. He's gonna use the star, he's not gonna use the fire flower, so right? So if we see him miss pipes, you can definitely tell it's because of something like that. He might overshoot them, right? Small Mario, you, you have to jump a little further to get in those pipes. Oh, very close. Not getting P-Speed here, but that's okay. Ah, and that's the jump and the pipe that's going to get him away from the 280. He might have a chance here. Ah, 279, dude. He's got to save the 279s for World 6. And Maiba is on his way. Maiba had already bumped on the overworld map. Oh, he's got Star P-Wing Star. So is he going to use a star before he uses a P-Wing? Don't think so. All right, you never know. Right on it, just like that. Gross is getting through the harder level. No bump on the overworld map yet. We can tell by the fluent movement, right? Gross has not used a P-Wing, or sorry, has not used the music box yet. Oh, and he clips right through the block. Did you guys see that? Right through the block. That was so cool. Yeah, that's right. Nothing can stop Brosis. Not even solid objects. He's gonna go to the mushroom house. He's already got the fire flower inventory item. I'm not sure why he's going to these mushroom houses. He gets a cloud. He gets a cloud for beating this, so I'm not sure. Now he's gonna do the roulette. All right, here we go. Mushroom, mushroom. Ah, mushroom beard. He's not going to be able to clutch it home. All right, no bumps on the overworld map yet. 
Still looking clean. He's got to get as many points as he can. Oh, and Maiva taking damage there. Not going to get stun locked, though. Nice. Prosus is out of there. 5-7, not an easy level, but he does get his Fire Flower. Gonna be able to have that power, power up backup. Brosis, is he going to avoid the... He doesn't have a choice here. Use a music box to get a music box? I mean... Use a music box to avoid a music box? That doesn't really work either, right? Alright, he's on the Fortress. He is quite a ways behind Maiba, however. Maiba is one of the fastest Omaria 3 runners on the planet, so... That's a very tall order. On Bros' side. Alright, here goes Maiba. Let's take a look at Maiba's inventory right here. I think it is looking pretty clean. Gonna have to use that hammer. Oh, he's stuck, man. He has a lot of P-Wing stars going on. If he doesn't use stars, he's got P-Wings. If he doesn't use P-Wings, he's got stars. I think he's stuck in a weird situation where no matter what item he uses, it's going to result in an item touching, right? I think... I, I actually think Maiba is stuck here. He's gonna have to do the backup here. I don't think that's gonna allow him to actually... Ooh, and the wall rub there. And the wall rub, that is a no-go on the 279. And just like that, Brosis, not gonna go for the last spade game. Gonna use the cloud. No bumps on the overall map for Brosis, so he's gonna get that point. This could be big for, for uh, Brosis, because Maiba, man, what? <laughs> he's gonna have to use the very far right P-Wing, right? He's gonna have to use the very far right P-Wing. Oh, and he could be in a good situation to get the special tile in World 6. Let's see how this level goes. Oh, almost gets the P-Speed. Got you baited, right? It's so hard to tell if you're gonna get that P-Speed or not. Most of the time it looks like you're gonna get it, but half the time you don't get it. 60% of the time you get it every time. That's how many times you get the P-Speed. All right, here we go. They don't do the switch, so he doesn't get the special tile. He's gonna do small, bro. He does get an upper pattern, so World 6 is not looking good right now for my book. And he gets a star there. This could be really bad for his items. He's gonna have to use the hammer. Here comes the P-Wing. And just like that, he uses the first P-Wing. This is insane right now, but what? watch what happens. Maiba's gonna have to get the cloud, and then he's gonna use the hammer, and the hammer is gonna have two stars touching. So let's see if he uses the star before he uses the hammer. Talk about some in- Oh, Brosis! Oh my gosh, Brosis, that was way too close. You can get stun locked to death. Even two, two hits of damage. All right, let's see how this goes. Gonna get the hammer suit. Oh, the inventory screen is on the other side. Oh, wow, the hammer is not going to get in his way. Okay, that's good. That was the cloud! He's avoiding the cloud! And Maiba, just like that, is confused. That was the cloud, was it not? Let me see how chat feels about that. I'm pretty sure that that was the cloud that he just ignored. Hopefully he's not listening to my stream right now. Alright, Bros is using the hammer. Don't- I don't know what the mushroom houses are for. I think the clouds. I think that's what it is. Oh, he's- he's going back for it! <laughs> Alright, he, he does go back for it and Bros gets the higher pattern. Bros is not gonna want to make that same mistake. Wow. Alright. Very, very rough start for Maiba's World 6. Brosis, yes! Yes! Brosis with the smart inventory plays right there. He's gonna use the P-Wing and the Star. This is gonna allow him to keep P-Speed for quite some time. Big damage, wall rub, keep P-Speed. He doesn't rebuild it though. Oh, and he misses the Star. Ooh, and this is a... Uh, not, nah, that was close though. Very nice try. Oh, Maiba gets the wall rub. Not gonna be able to keep peace speed, but that's okay. He's gonna be on his way. 
Just like that, Rosas is now in. 6-4. And Maiba having a very, very rocky World 6. Not how he wanted to go. His momentum, he ran out of steam in World 6, that's for sure. Alright, let's see how this goes. Nice, Rosas is gonna get the Flower Star Mushroom. Does he get the clip? Nobody's gotten the clip once yet this tournament. Oh! <laughs> that is a you hate to see it moment right there. Very unfortunate. So what happened to Maiba was he did everything perfect but got a bad sub pixel. Nice despawn strategies from Bros side. He is slowly trying to catch up here. Try not to make the same mistakes as Maiba. He is out of there, but I'm pretty sure Brosis did get top pattern with the first Hammer Brother, and that is a no-go. Neither runner getting any points in World 6. Oh, and Brosis is going to be able to get the special tile, but I think he already has that. He does already have that. Not going to be able to get the special tile this time. Alrighty then, he does get another top pattern. There's some more top patterns. Not what he needs to see. Oh! Gets debated, and he gets the star. All right. Let's see how it works, man, when he uses the hammer. I think he's got the, the mushroom house in between. Nice, gonna go for the hammer suit here. No lifelines used from either our runner. All right, Maiba, one point in this world. One. Not clutching a point in this world, and that's going to definitely affect his high score in points. Probably wants to go for that Zikubi high score. Probably wants to go for that Zikubi high score. 23 in one game. 23 points in one game. World 7, the nasty gatekeeper coming up for Maiba. Meanwhile, Bros is making great work, man. Great work in the Ice Fortress there. Let's see if we get a solid fire kill. This boss is not easy with a fire kill. Goes for subpixel manipulation. He goes for the duck subpixel manipulation, not the stand. Don't blame him, man. That's a rocky, rocky subpixel manips. All right, here we go, Brosis. Don't get the fanfare. Nice, dude. Fanfare is very scary right there. That's a very scary situation. Alright, he's gonna do the other strategy, the P-Wing strategy here, which is fine. He has the extra P-Wing, which means he does not have to lose the time like uh, like uh, Maiba did. Alright, Maiba, you got five tries. Probably gonna get a first try, knowing him. No! One. Two. Three. Four. Last try. Wow, and he does not get it. Bros is going for the clip. Oh, he does not get it. Maiba gets 7-1, but he does not get the point for it. Let's scroll down here. World 7 and World 8 is all that's left. And Brosis. Come on, Brosis. You gotta get it. You gotta get the airship clip, man, because then you get that one point, then you get 7-1, and then you're back to being only two points behind! Maiba is in a rocky situation right here with his inventory. He's got star, P-Wing, star, P-Wing, star, P-Wing. I think as long as he uses the first item in his inventory, he should be good, right? But every time Maiba needs to use a P-Wing, he's gonna have to use a star. They both have a lot of items in their inventory right now. I think Brosis actually has three pages. Three pages, I feel, is a little excessive here. But... Let's go ahead and see how Maiba deals with Island 2, the item abuse section of World 7. 7-3 seven, should be a walk in the park for a player like Maiba. The bounce, the bounce, the biggity bounce right there and he's good. Just a little slope speed. And here goes Brosis going for the first attempt for the clip. He needs this man. Doesn't do the duck, not gonna help you. Oh and he gets his second try and just like that. That, you, you guys have no, well, you know what? You guys have been watching just as much as me. So I can't say you guys have no idea how incredible that is. But that one point, man, is going to be big. Especially if Maiba messes up his inventory here. 
Yep, every time, man. Every time he needs to use the B-Wing, he's got to use the Star. That's so funny. He's just, he's just hyper-locked into using Stars here. I have not seen a, a, an inventory like this at all. Star, P-Wing, Star, P-Wing, Star, P-Wing, Star, P-Wing. All right, boom. Just like that, Brosis is out of there. Star, P-Wing, Star, P-Wing. <laughs> Maiba has obviously been practicing. And he, he's, dude, he's definitely been practicing. All right. Oh, thank heavens. I'm back to my old self again. Seven, eight, here we go on my beside. Don't think we're gonna see him do the hammer suit strats though. Oh, dude, he almost died right there. All right, bros, this five tries. One, two, three. Come on, two more. Four, wasted. Oh, and he does not get it. He needed that really badly. Bad RNG, just like I got, man. You guys just watched me take like 15 to 20 attempts here. P-Wing Star, P-Wing Star. Come on, bros, just get in there. The frickin' 7-1 sucks. Yeah, he's gonna go back on that. Wash out his uh, sub-pixels a little bit. Ooh, Maiba missing the jump, first try. Gets it second try, just like that. Maiba, oop, wrong person. Maiba's going to collect those points. Brosis does get through 7-1. This is great. Oh no, and he gets the mushroom. I think you're guaranteed a flower if you just hold forward the whole time without getting any P-Speed. Come on, Brosis, you're still in this, Brosis. Gonna use the star and go for that P-Speed. My but we watched him practice this level before the race started. He should be a walk in the park here. Just like that, he is out of there. He's gonna do the big jump and get right in there. Oh, and Brosis falls down. That's okay, he's gonna do the wraparound. Ooh, backwards duck side jump. Very rare there. He is out of there. Maiba smashing through this run. But the points, the points are not a huge difference here. Not yet, at least. Music box. We cannot guarantee Maiba's safety with items here. So we can't give him those two points just yet. Not yet. Nice, and he does not get a fanfare. Brosis needs to make sure he doesn't lose any points at all here. Very rocky world seven. That's seven one seven two. He does have 18 minutes left. To finish the run, which I think he does have enough time. World 7 is a lot faster than you think. It's the, just the, it's the stupid auto-scroller that takes so long. And that's the only problem. So as long as Brosis doesn't have any more slip-ups, which I think he's got enough P-Wings and Stars to have him comfortably get through this. And he is definitely going to Music Box Cloud, so he doesn't have to do the uh, 742, which actually is a very tough, scary, stressful level. Just like that, Maiba actually almost just died right there. He almost got squished in the wall. That is scary, man. He almost died by getting squished in that wall. That is, oh my gosh, guys. Dude, can you imagine if he died there? Holy crap. Imagine if you would have died there, man. I'm just thinking about it right now, and it scares me. All right, item abuse island on Brosis' side. Looks like he's pretty good with his inventory. He's making the smart play. He knows he's behind right now, but dude, he's he's trying to collect as many points because even the best runners make mistakes in this game. You're not guaranteed safety. Go. Last island for Brosis. 7 8, very scary level. Maiba not gonna be able to go. The 
fire kill. That's okay. Brosis, a little slip up there, which means he's gonna have different enemy spawns at the end. Watch. The Nipper is probably gonna shoot fire here. He's gonna take damage. So as long as he doesn't take damage here. All right. He's in the clear. Very nice. Oh, yeah. All right. So he's gonna use a P-Wing star here, I'm going to guess. And then he's going to music box cloud his way out of this world. No, he's not. Please don't go for those clips. Nice. He's just going to ignore the clips, ignore the fire flower. That is a good play. You got a fire flower at the end of this level, right? You might as well. Very nice play. He's going to save that P-Wing for the airship. And just like that, Maiba is on his way. Auto scroller land. Thank you for Brosis. We have stuff to watch. Brosis, gotta get this clip. First try. One more try. Oh, and he jumps a little too early. Even if he got the right sub pixel, he would have actually just stood up and not clipped. But that's not the end of the world. Not going for the fire flower with no point. You get it on the airship, right? No point at all. Now, is Brosis in the clear to prove to me that it's impossible for items in his inventory to touch? Let's see, he's gonna use music box, he's gonna use cloud. He's not using a star yet! Very scary! This is interesting to see how this goes. Ibit does have a cloud for 8 fourth. that's right. But they're both on auto scroll. This is not a whole lot. Not a whole lot going on right now. We just gotta get through these auto scrollers. Rosis definitely has enough time to get under 60 minutes. So he's he's good there. He's not gonna get punished that way. That would really be unfortunate. Maiba, does he get Wrangless? He does get Wrangless, and that is just jeez. Counting them up, man. gonna rest my throat just a little bit here guys In that corner, don't get stunned! Oh my gosh, so scary. But he is out of there, thank goodness. Alright, here we go. Maiba is gonna be the first to cross the hands. Yeah, that's what I wanna see. I wanna I wanna make sure that Brosis collects some of these points here. Maiba almost getting no hands, man. That's That'd be crazy for his time. Maiba might actually get sub 54 here. Not too sure, though. I'm not too sure. What has he got? 49. Mm, he does have the cloud. I think he is actually going to get the sub 54. We'll see. We'll see. Oh my gosh, that was so scary. The runner is taking damage yet, that's good. Maiba working his way around, trying to get the no Rockies kill. Try 
Trying to make sure they all face left. That's a good play, man. That's a really good play. Oh! Gets the despawn, so he should be in the clear. Just like that, gets the point. Brosis? If he got all hands, that would be not too bad. That would be pretty good. Brosis needs to do some special lives work in 8-1. Uh, Definitely needs to do special live stuff in 8-1 here. Five again, early P-speed. Lucid it, gets it back! He's in the clear. Alright, Rangless on Bros' side. Needs to get, to get Rangless here. Gotta get Rangless. Ah, so close. Hammer suit time. Gets the sun kill. Alright, meanwhile, neither runner has taken damage yet. Don't go over there, Brosis. Don't even think about it. You're getting some good points here in World 8, man. You're gonna get some good points here. Alright, Maiba's gonna use a cloud, and I don't think his items are gonna touch here. No, and he is in the clear for the no items touch. Just like that, 20 points. Looks like Maiba is going to get a sub 54. I'm, ah, it's so hard to tell. If Maiba gets the sub 54, he will take the lead in most points. He will take it. He'll beat Zikubi. You get three points for a sub 54, because that is a lot of time. That's a big, that's six minutes under qualifiers. That's good, that's crazy good. All right, here we go, Brosis. Brosis needs to get all three hands. He's gotta get all three hands to get extra points. That would be good for him. That'd be really good. That would be good for him. Gets first hand, that's good. Don't get overkill, Maiba. Does not get overkill. Alright, he's got Bowser's Castle, and he is on his way for a sub-54, as long as he doesn't mess up. Bros is only getting one hand. He's gonna go for the no Rockies kill. Oh, Maiba doesn't autopilot that one up. Pulls a Karua, though. It's okay, he's in the clear. Oh! Very unfortunate for Brosis. Does take damage, man. He needs some of these points. It's okay, he hasn't killed any of the Rockies. Just like that, Maiba takes that, takes that. And the sub. Look at that, 24 points. 24 points. Takes the lead, what, by one? Nice. 53-39. Incredible. However, Brosis is still on the go. He does get no Rocky kills. He's gonna get Sun Kill. He's got 20... He can get the 20 lives and he can get the two points. However, he is going to have to take the second place, though. Use that P-Wing. All right, he's gotta fly up and get those lives. Yes! Smart plays, man, smart plays. That's what I'm talking about. He only needs two though, 67, 18, right? Cause then he gets the one up and then Bowser clip. Yeah, he only needs two, get out of there. Yes, smart plays, man, that's what I'm talking about. He jumps before he answers the pipe so he can get the fly. Smart plays, man. That's all I want to see here. And he's gonna do the do the quick drops. The quick drops! The quick drops! It's 
okay, he's in the clear. He's already taking damage. Right on, man. Right on, and that's what I want to see, guys. The place. Yup. Nice, he gets the sun. There you go, just like that, he gets the sun. Use the far right star, Brosis. The far right star. Use that far right star. I give you your points right away. Let's see. He's got a leaf, a P-wing, a star, a flower. I think he's in the clear. Yeah, I think he's in the clear. Damn, man. If he didn't take damage, though. Sorry. Wait, Brosis doesn't have audio, right? So we're gonna have to go to spooky music. All right, gets the hammer kill. He's got auto scroller. I don't know why Brosis has no audio. Not too sure. So, while he's on the airship, let's take a look through Maiba's points here and let's make some, some general assumptions, okay? So, had he not taken damage, just by not taking damage in World 8, boom, right? If he would have got 7-1 within 5 tries, and let's say he would have got lucky with RNG in World 6, right there, and then he got the duck ship clip. Look at that on his points, right? And then he'd get the 20 lives, he would only be 4 points behind. But unfortunately, some of those, some of those points, right? But he is in the clear to get the lives points. Wait, 15? Does he have 14? Oh yeah, 7-1 again. Nice! Gets the kill. All right, here we go. He's gonna get the sub hour, which is good. What's going on, Mem? How you doing today, man? Friday, baby. It's the clip, he's got the 20 lives. It's f -f 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 Friday. No slip-ups, right? Even if he didn't take the death, too. Nice, and he does get the 15. Very nice from both runners. Very nice from both runners, man. This is, this is pretty good. Very, an unfortunate difference in points, but not over yet. All right. Three, two, one, go! Woo! All right, here they go. And both these runners start at the exact same time. That is amazing, you love to see it. All right, here we go. I think Mima's gonna do the turn back over. Meanwhile, Bros is going to do the rub. Either strat is perfectly fine as long as you're safe with what you do. Bros is not getting caught up with what he got caught up in last time. He's gonna be pretty good with him, just like that. There, right there. Neck and neck. In World 1, what we're looking for is the frame perfect jump on the Hammer Brother and staying in the duck form on the airship the entire freaking time. Here we go. Early P speed versus not early P speed. Never mind. They both get the early P speed. And look at these runners right now. You love to see it like this. I love seeing this. Boom. And just like that, Brosis is taking the lead. 
Actually, they're probably a little bit more synced. Movement of one versus movement of two. You see the difference, guys? Movement of one versus movement of two. Big difference. Early P-Speed versus not early P-Speed. Both avoid it. Oh my god, this is an amazing race too already. Where was this in race one, guys? Where was this in race one? Movement of two versus movement of one. And just like that, boom. All right, both runners right on their way through. Maiba's definitely gonna go for the tunnel again. Oh, it's not get the tunnel, loose the P-Speed. Brosis. Wow. Oh my god, this is a race, guys. This is a race. Man. Man, what do you guys think so far about this race? Damn, Maiba getting really lucky here with these movements of one. Alright, here we go. Get P-Speed versus not get P-Speed. And just like that. Brosis making a huge difference than last time, man. And all, that that difference that Brosis made was just little knickknacks here and there that were really frustrating for him. And Bros is getting more and more movements of two. Neither runner getting the frame perfect jump at the start of the battle. That is a you hate to see a moment. But Brosis is not gonna have to get the frame perfect jump on the air. Uh, he's not gonna have to get the fire flower on the airship, which is gonna be pretty good for him. Considering he wants to not do too much work while he's staying in the duck form. Both runners are gonna have to go for it. Brosis desperately needs Maiba to mess this up. If it's the other way around, this is just a hard point swing. Keep your eyes peeled, guys. How do you not take damage on that cannon? That, that gets me every time. Maiba almost taking damage there. Just like that, Maiba gets it. Just like that, Brosis gets it. He's not going to let him take it from him. He's not going to let it happen. He did He did get, you know, he's behind a little bit. You know, he did lose some time there, but he's not going to let it happen, man. He's n I don't think so. Not happening. Wow. That's good for both runners. Unfortunately, Brosis is behind by an amount. He really needs to make crazy magic here. But we'll see how it goes. How it goes. Maybe my buzz will use a warp whistle by accident, right? We have seen that before. It's not impossible. Alright. My buzz gonna be the first one in world two. Going for those peace speed strategies. Hot and spicy in this world. The sun is beating down on them and they are in a fire flower suit. Doesn't get any hotter than that. Gross little slip up. He's gonna fix it right here though. It does take damage. Not the end of the world. Oh, but he flubs it. He flubs it, but he's getting back into it, and he's got P-Speed, and he's on his way. Maiba with the two stars right here. This could be dangerous for him. Oh, Maiba misses a couple of his jumps. That's okay. He's going to get on his way. Both runners getting movements of two in World 2. It's now Bros' turn. Last time he fell in the sand. Will he fall in the sand this time? He did not fall in the sand this time. And he is out of there. God, 2-2 two -two sucks. The mode of tears will take no one. It will take no one. All right, just like that, another movement of two. For both runners. Maiba, having a fire flower here, is going to allow him to be able to secure the fire kill on the boom boom. And Brosis not. Was that a? I think that was a movement of one on Brosis' side. Very hard to tell, but I think it was a movement of one. Is he gonna get back up P speed? He does get the back up P speed. Thank goodness. Late P speed is better than no P speed at all. Just like that, Maiba is on his way. Alright, both runners have to wait for the spike elevator here. Alright, another movement of two for Maiba. He's gonna avoid that hammer, brother. 
Could he possibly get just as lucky in both races with movements of two? There's no way. No way. Another movement of two for Rosis, that's right. We did get movements of two. They are both in the same level right now. You love to see it. There you go, and just like that, he's got the flower as his first card. Here's a great opportunity for him to get rid of this to get rid of this point right now. He gets another movement of two still. However, he's gonna go down to level five, so Maiba's gonna have a little bit more trouble getting all movements of two this run. He knows he's ahead by points, so is he gonna go for No, he's gonna go for it. Another movement of two on Bros' side. Looking pretty clean. Maiba's gonna have to wait. Bad RNG. With the sun, flip, flippity flops. He does get his P speed back though, he's good. Are we gonna get another big turn back sun throw? Right through the sun. I mean, what are these hitboxes anyways? Unbelievable. Now I'm gonna have to wait for the sun again. He's gonna go for the, oh! That is not what you wanna see. It's okay, that's one point late game. Gets another movement of two. Maiba gets Flower Star Mushroom. Brosis, look out! Oh my god, that was so close, but he does get it. Just like that, Flower Star Mushroom on Maiba's side. Maiba does get a movement of one. Brosis also gets the movement of one right there. Oh my god, this level is so scary. Is he gonna get the mushroom? He's not even gonna go for it, that's fine. Mad skills. He's gonna get this one though. Nice. Very nice. He's out of there. Maiba missing his turtle shell. Although he does grab it. Boom, and he's out of there. Ooh, missing the turtle shell. He's gonna lag a little bit here. There you go. He's on his way though. Brosis didn't actually lose any time with that boomerang, bro. Because uh, the second boomerang was thrown to the right, so it went off screen right away. Alright, here goes. Unfortunately, he did get hammer last, so he's gonna have to go to music or mushroom house. Does he get a fire flower? And he does get the fire flower, just like that. Tied up in points in game two. Boom. Not getting the sun, but Maiba does get the sun. All right, pyramid versus not pyramid. He is much further ahead than last time. Brosis is. Oh, the shell had already moved, so he's gonna have to wait. He knew it, man. He's a good runner, man made these mistakes before he knew exactly what he had to do there pyramid going much better than last time he's going to get himself out of there and just like that he is good the lead is far far less than run one the points are tied up and he does get the flower just like that just like that all right take a sip too far behind man not like last time remember hands and runaway bro can definitely control this all right looking pretty good looking pretty good guys god i love these races man I don't even care if somebody's like guaranteed to lose, which is not the case in this race, but even if that is the case, I don't like, I love watching these, man. Anything can go. It's so crazy. Mario 3 is like the perfect speed game. Am I, a bi am I an unbiased or biased opinion? Probably biased. <laughs> Probably biased, but it gets through 3 1 on my side. Very easy, very casual level. Not a whole lot going on. I think Maiba has told himself, as long as he doesn't go for Mushroom Houses and he goes for one roulette, he can get under 54 if he gets a hand or two. 
Maiba getting a very, very scary first movement there. And he doesn't get early P-Speed things. He's running out of steam, I think. I think he's running out of steam. I mean, he's made a little bit, a couple more mistakes here than he did last time. So I don't know what's gonna happen here. He doesn't have the P-Speed. Almost in coin ship territory as well. Let's change even stone. So if he had one coin, he would have got a coin ship, dude. That's crazy. Meanwhile, Brosis is on his way to get another point here. He gets run away, bro. That is very discouraging at the start of the world, man. That could cause more mistakes. Right? Maiba's thinking to himself, Oh, man, I got Runaway Bro, of course. So if the Hammer Brother moves here, I gotta do this. If the Hammer Brother moves there, I gotta do that. If he doesn't move here, I'll do this. And just like that, causing him to make a mistake. Fall in the water. Right? He doesn't make those mistakes like that, but he will if the uh, Runaway Bro is kind of getting his head a little bit. That's what happens. Ooh, Bros is taking a little- Oh, going right through that cheap cheap. However, he does make it back up, and that Hammer Brother does not come back for Maiba. Maiba got door three last time. Look at him, he's flubbing around, man. Not, not playing the same as game one. Does he get door three? He gets door three again, dude! Door three! The big point, and Bros is getting Flower Star Flower. Not gonna be able to get that point yet, but that's okay. There's lots and lots of levels left. Not a movement of four here, but I don't think that's like the ideal movement that we want to see on his side. Alright, let's see what happens here. Alright, there we go. Both runners getting through the level. Very, very nice. Very, very nice. Gets the flower again, so he's back in. And just like that. Oh, he's gonna do double screen scroll. He's gonna go back to the mushroom house. He has been in this situation before. Brosis very badly needs to get door three right now, and he does get door three! Wow, we made sure he got door three, but he also needs the Hammer Brothers to move to the right. Maiva's gonna go for the special tile. What? He's not- What? Maiva did not get the special tile. It was right there. Brosis using the music box. And oh my goodness. Just like that, Maiba does some very questionable decisions. He, he was on the special tile. He was right there. It was free. He did not get it though. Do not pass go and certainly do not collect $200. And just like that. Rosas takes the lead. He doesn't do any water battles, though. And neither does Maiba. Maiba cannot do a water battle. He's gonna... He went back. And that's it. However, Maiba does have the extra cloud. And he has the hammer. So he is going to do a big, big combo. He's gonna do a big combo in World 4. He's probably gonna hammer it, then, then cloud for 4. Maiba going for the H jump. Nails the H jump. Judging by the time difference, I feel like Brosis did not get the H jump. I was not sure. I had to look away just for one second. And those movements, those movements of one man. He is down a hammer, but he, he had to make the right play. His inventory is pretty clean, though, if you ask me. Very clean inventory. This is an interesting turn of events, man. Flower Star Mushroom from Brosis. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you very much. We got it. Flower Star Mushroom. Flower Star Mushroom. All right. Well, they're both on the auto scrollers. I can maybe read some, uh, read some stuff here. See what's going on. Uh, I think I missed this one. Grim. Grim Joe back for 19 months. Thank you very much, Grim Joe. I'm not sure if I read that or not. 
Yeah, so all support goes towards supporting a season three. That's right. That is right. All right, these runners. Man, if this was only race one, the big point swing from Maiba here uh, on race one is huge, but he is, Maiba's definitely going to be able to take the lead here with time having that hammer and a cloud, unless Maiba forgets about his cloud or decides to use his cloud later. We're gonna go ahead and take a look, man. It's gonna be interesting. No, Bros just got Flower Star Flower. If you're talking about in 2122, it doesn't count then. Type exclamation tournament, guys, so you can check out the rules, the schedules, and the brackets. That way you can inform yourself on how the rules work and what's going on. Therefore, you do not confuse me when I read chat. That is correct. Exclamation tournament. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. All right, here we go. World 4, Bros is gonna be the first one to enter World 4 right here. The first world where you can get punished for points. Now watch out for that. Bros is using the, the patented I'm as good as Mitch 4-1 strategy. Meanwhile, Maiba is going to be hanging out in the I'm better than Mitch at 4-1 lounge. And just like that, proves his worth right there. Two different strategies. The I'm as good as Mitch and I'm better than Mitch at 4-1. Gotta love those strategies, man. And here we go. And just like that, both runners done 4-1. Brosis, I don't want to say Brosis has got a bad movement because if he gets the star first, I mean, you're guaranteed pretty much to get Cloud Keywing, so not the end of the world. Oh my, oh man, Brosis missing the plant here. This Don't do a full big jump, you're gonna, ooh, that was so close. Almost landing in the water. But both runners doing a great job at 4-2, I love it. I love it. Like that, both runners are on their way out of 4-2. And like I said before, oh, and they don't go for the switch. This is gonna be very, very difficult for Brosis because he does not have that hammer. And they are in the punishment level. Dun, dun, dun. Neither runner wants to get punished. Maiba, if you guys watch Maiba, he does a non-traditional strategy at the end of this level. Very interesting strategy, if you ask me. He does like a turn back shoot. Watch, check out Maiba's screen. Turn back shoot, double shoot. Right, and then he gets the heck out of there. And it's just enough time for him to not have to worry about uh, the 288. He's good. All right, that's a good switch. That is a bad thing to happen. Oh no! Oh, they switched though, thank goodness. All right, we got Hammer. All right, he's gotta do this fortress. I hope he doesn't lose Fire Flower here. Wall of questionably one of the hardest turnbacks in this video game. Even harder than those ones right there. Oh wait, no, sorry. Maiba did use his cloud in World 3, so he doesn't have an extra cloud. He just had that extra hammer. That's actually really good, man. So Brosis is not as far behind as I thought he was gonna be. Swimming blind on Maiba? Doesn't matter. Hammer Brothers. So when Ma when Brosis, this is kind of good for Brosis, okay? So, a little bit of Mario 3 tech right here. When Brosis screen scrolls and you get to see the Hammer Brothers, because all three are on the screen here, you can actually see the two Hammer Brothers that are going in the same direction is going to be the P-Wing and the Cloud, right? And that's actually a pretty good tell. I mean, he's in an awkward situation with Hammer Brother RNG. However, the two Hammer Brothers walking in the exact same direction will be the Hammer Brothers that he wants to fight. He's not gonna know which one because they're all over the place, but at least he's got a little bit of information. So let's go ahead and take a look here. Nope, screen scroll. Screen scroll first. Ooh, that's gonna be rough. Okay, all on these two Hammer Brothers, okay. Okay, that's it. And Maiba does get the early P-Speed just like that. He gets the score. Because Brosis is gonna have to do the side, side hops. Almost hits the Kaizo blocks, but doesn't. It's pretty good. And he's out of there. I know we di diverted off of Maiba for a little bit there, but I wanted to explain to you the Hammer Brothers in the same direction will definitely be the two Hammer Brothers he wants. And Maiba getting screwed out of that point, going for the extra level! Oh man, this is incredible! What these runners will do for their points, and Brosis also getting early P-Speed. Sorry, I gotta scroll back up on Brosis' side. Getting that extra early P-Speed. Wow! 
Maiba in a very uncomfortable situation there. Having to do the extra level. That's okay. He's still got the lead here, but not by much, man. He's probably gonna have to fight both of them. If they switch, that'll be hilarious. And they don't switch. Okay. He's in the clear. I I highly go up. Up. Yes, that is the good play. It might not work out, but that was at least. And there it is. Wow, Brosis also making clutch plays. Maiba going for the mushroom has trying to get that fire flower. Does he get it though? He does not get it. However, he does wash out his inventory a little bit. And Brosis, just like that, also getting the point there. Maiba also getting the point right there. Brosis going for the mushroom has as well. However, he does have the point. They both get the exact same item. Just like that. So what's going on with, with points here? Door three, that's a special tile. Yep. Oh, but he's got mushroom and flower star mushroom. Meanwhile, Maiba has only flower star shroom. So look at that! Bros is actually in the lead right now with points a little bit far behind in time. Wow, let's go on to page two right here. Five, six, seven, eight. The back five. No runner has used the lifeline yet. Yeah, man, you guys gotta learn that I'm better than Mitch Flower Power in 4 1 strat. Yo, Dr. Trash Panda with the gift sub. The hook on pots. <laughs> oh my god. Nice username. Thank you very much for the support. Directly supporting a season three. Thank you very much. No lifeline yet from either runner. <laughs> we serve scotch, scotch meat in the I'm better than Mitch for one lounge. Hey man, it's a, it's a lounge. That's okay. Once I start doing consistently, I'm better than Mitch. I'm better than. Wait, the. What would that be? I'm even better than Mitch, who's better than Mitch 4-1 strategy. I, I don't even know, because there's a faster strategy in 4-1. Definitely doable, but not worth the risk. Wow, what is that, dude? That is the most, okay. That is the most bullshit fire kill I've ever seen. How did he get the two hits in the head with the jump like that? Wow, intense, but right on. Let's get it. Brosis. Yeah, see, they get, they both get the jump. I guess Mushroom House is guaranteed jump. Ooh, there was a network error. Please try again. No points for that, Brosis. Sorry, bud, but you don't get any points for that. He does make it through, though. He is on his way. Let me see if I can find it. No, no points for uh, uh, network. All right. We're going to have to watch very closely, guys. Brosis does not have any audio. This is a muted stream. We're going to have to watch very closely for the bumps on the overall map. Nice. There he goes. Maiba. Um, falls right down and he does get P-Speed and he's out of there. Boom. He's got two stars, though. I'm worried for him. If he gets... Dude, if he gets a fanfare of stars, not only is that going to mess up his lives point, but that's going to mess up his coin, uh, his count right now. <laughs> All right, Bros is very close, but he does clutch it out. He's going to do the runoff. Very scary in my opinion, but he makes it work, man. Let's get the flower. It doesn't need it anymore. Let's see if Maiba gets a star. I highly doubt he's going to get a star. We've seen worse. Let's see how these runners prepare for their uh, P-Wings. That little jump right there kind of scared me. I thought maybe that was going to mess up his speed. Who knows, man? Who knows? No bumps on Maiba's side yet. Looks like Maiba is going to have to use Music Box and be down one P-Wing. He had an extra P-Wing last round, so let's see what happens here. Bros is making great work of 5-2 and 5-1, getting his candy butt out of there. They're both maybe going to be in the fortress at the same time. Neither runner getting movements of four. However, Brosis did get a movement of three right there. No bumps. Either runner. And 
uh, Maiba has actually done one extra level and Brosis does not die in the same spot. He is doing so much better this round and Maiba's gonna go up and grab that hammer brother with the star. Percy's gonna go for mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. He does not get it like he got it last time. Maiba is not clutching out. Do not match it. Oh man, dude, if Maiba matched that, that would have been very bad for his lives. That would have been pretty rough. All right, here we go. Yes, look at both runners in the same spot. Brosis might be like, I'm out of here, man. I'm not going for the roulette. Oh, and Maiba bumps in the exact same spot. What? He did an overworld bump in the exact same spot. All right, here comes Brosis. Gonna go for the roulette. If he gets this point, this will be big. Mushroom, mushroom, mushroom. Oh, and he gets it, dude. Brosis gets the mushroom. He takes the lead by two points right here. Wow, man. Holy crap. What a world five. How does Maiba bump in the exact same spot? You know he's got to be thinking about that right now. All right. Brosis, don't use that star. Use that. There you go. That was definitely worth the wait, man. You got to watch that inventory. The Hammer Brothers will drastically change how your inventory works every single game. Maiba looks like he's going to get the clutch 280. Avoid coin ship as well. He is paying attention to 82. That's what we want to see. Just like that. Maiba is on the 5-4 right here. Looking pretty good. Oh, he, he always goes to that delay jump, man. He gets me every time. Brosis gets a better jump in that third room on the uh, fourth room or whatever it is. I think he's still going to be able to clutch the 280. I want to see a full clear. 84. Oh, and missing that vine. That vine is super slippery. 279, dude. Oh, man. You got, like, he's definitely... It's definitely saying something about that. Maiba not clutching out early P-Speed and 5-5 five five on either race. I'm starting to question his strategy there. I don't think it's the... You know, from the strategies that I do, I don't know if that's the, the right one he wants to go with there. Especially having Fire Flower. It makes it a little bit more comfortable, but who knows? Is he going to go for the Spade Card game? He's going to go for the Mushroom House. He's going to try and get that Fire Flower because he's not getting all the, all the points he needs. He does get the Fire Flower, though. And that is really bad for Brosis, man. Maiba is going to catch up with those two points. That two-point swing right there. However, Brosis has not bumped on the overworld map yet, so he should be able to get that, that lead and point. Both these runners are very close to each other. Maiba all over the place in this World 5, man. All over this place. And just like that, Mushroom. Mushroom! And the hard work and the timing pays off and just like that however brosis does take the time lead right there from maiba oh and he falls through the cracks and that crack is going to cost him the lead in time just like that just like Bumps on Brosis' side, so that could tie it up. And look at this, guys. These are neck and neck. And just like that, these guys are neck and neck. Very nice piece speed strategies right here. God, these guys are so close right here. And they neither of them have... I think Maiba still has Hammer Brother below, or no, he doesn't. I don't think so. No, he doesn't. Neither runner has any Hammer Brothers. That's right. Full clear. Going for the early P-Speed in this level. Try to save those 11 frames right there. Let's freaking go here. Let's freaking go. Nice. Right on. Neither runner getting fanfare. This is the last chance. Last chance right here for Barosis to not get a bump. Does he get it? And he does get it. Very nice on Bros' side. Does get the thing. And what else did I miss? Let's see here. Uh, I'm pretty sure Maiba did get the special tile in World 5 right below the, um, right below the spade matching game. I think he did get it. Maiba has the special tile. 
Jesus, guys, calm down, man. Brosis has no audio. I'm more concerned on paying attention to make sure he bumps. I know he got the special tile. Oh my god, what do you guys want me to do, man? Like, instantly, like, oh my god, dude, I'll get to it. I just, I have to focus. Maiba missing missing points here. Just like that, man. Brosis gets the 279. Yes, Brosis did use his lifeline. Brosis did use his lifeline, so I'm feeding him some information as the run is going. And Maiba gets a top pattern after low pattern. Just like that. He does get the right hammer, brother. that P-Wing. That's okay, Brosis already got first upper pattern here, so he is in the clear, but he also gets the right hammer brother here. Brosis was 10 seconds behind, but he did decide to go to that mushroom house. Gonna have to use that P-Wing, that's pretty good. Yeah, good P-Wing usage. All right, he does get screen scroll. He can't use the hammer. We have seen this before. Oh my God. And that's what Maiba gets for not using Mushroom House. And just like that, guys. Brosis is going to have a very nice catch up here. Maiba is going to have to do both fortresses by using that cloud now. He's going to go ahead and use that hammer and doing that mushroom house is definitely the best decision he made even though he lost time. Maiba had to make a pretty big mistake there. So this is pretty freaking big for Brosis. Maiba tried to go for the the triple tail swipe, man. That's such a great move. I love it. And he goes for this, the runs. He is out of there.
Gonna go for the P-Speed in 610. If he doesn't get it, this could be a rough thing that happens to him, but let's see how it goes. Oh, and he gets the clip, which means he's not gonna get it. Holy Kablingi, and just remember, Brosis still has that extra cloud on Maiba. Wow. This would be a crazy race one, man. And just like that, look at how close Brosis is able to catch up here. He doesn't have Fire Flower, though. Big difference. Oh, and Maiba forgets the Hammer Suit! And he gets the- he's gotta go back! Wow! And just like that... Does Brosis get the clip? Mm, no clip. Maiba is gonna go for the clip. Holy crap, man. That was a great use of the hammer though, right? That was a, that was pretty clutch hammer. All right, Maiba, he wants these two points. Hey, he doesn't get it though. Doesn't get it. Doesn't get it. This has been the craziest race, man. I really, really like this race. Neither runner got low bros or clip, but it is now up to fire clip here. These runners are tied in points. Let's see how it goes. Brosis wastes his first attempt. He's absolutely wasted it. Second attempt, didn't work. And this is not something he needs to happen. Maiba misses his first attempt, goes for the second. And he gets it! Oh, man! Oh, man! And that's it right there. Okay, so Brosis has the kind of lead where he can he can flub around in 7-1, but he's gotta not mess around for too long, man. That is just way too much. There we go. Let's see how far ahead Brosis is. How far ahead he is. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine seconds ahead. Yes, nine seconds ahead. This is a great, great man. Again, dude, if this was race one, if this was race one, holy crap. race one. Still looking good, though. For a good, for good race, still looking good. Alright, bros, he's got five tries, man. One. Two. Wasted. Three. Four. Come on, last try. Ah, oh, and Maiba gets a first try. Oh, and he gets it! Sixth try! That is the hate-to-see-it moment. Alright, we are down in World 7 right now. Down in the gullies. Just like that. Look at how easy even this is. Nice. Both runners. Oh, and Bros is not. He's going to have to grab that fire flower and try again. Those turnbacks, man, they'll get you. I don't know why he did another random turn back there. There you go, he's in the clear now. Gonna be able to take that damage. Right on, and just like that. Not gonna be able to get the fall drop, which is okay. Boom. No fanfares from either of them. No fanfares, no coin ship. We've had one coin ship. This entire tournament. 
And am I the only one who gets coin ships and runs? I guess I'm... I guess in world record attempts, you don't really have time to slow down to make sure you don't get a coin ship. Unless it's just with your timer, you know? So I guess it happens more likely, but I mean, only one coin ship, and I think we've only had two or three fanfares. And that's it. Alright, item abuse island for Maiba. Oh, he's gotta use that P-Wing. There's a little bit of slowdown right there. Brosis, he's got a stacked inventory. It is a big inventory. There we go. What if he use a leaf? He's going to use a leaf. We've seen some very, very interesting P-Speed... Or sorry, some very interesting um, inventory management from a lot of runners in these races. All right, here we go. Another P-Wing. Use it up. It's... it's you gotta find it interesting how last time Maiba was here, it was star, P-Wing, star, P-Wing, star, P-Wing, but now it's not even close to that. So you can imagine how hard it is for these guys to manage their inventory. Glad I don't have to do it. Glad I don't have to do it. But as long as these runners can prove to me that no items, it's impossible for extra items to touch. They get the point. They get the point right there. All right, Maiba on his way to Island 3. Oh my gosh, almost dies again right there. He was so close. I don't know how he didn't run off. And that extra star, making his way through. Just like that, he is out of there. Brosis also on his way. Is he gonna do the hammer suit protection spell? No, he's on his way though. Much better, dude. Race 2 went so much better. Oh, this could be dangerous. Watch out, watch out! Oh, no. This level is so difficult. Gonna use the leaf. Accidentally go back in the pipe. That's okay. Does Maiba get... Oh, and Maiba gets mid-clip. Such an awkward mid-clip right there. Ooh, that doesn't go for the tail swipe. All right, he's in the clear now. He should go for the hammer suit. Just, just to get through, you know, because now all the, now all the cycles are off, What, right? This is gonna be... That's okay, he's gonna get through. Nice, and he's out of there. Alright. Remember, Brosis still has the extra cloud, right? Oh, and he doesn't... Dude, I thought Maiva was toast there. Daddy makes it through. Brosis goes for the mid clip. Ah! Oh! oh my goodness. Does not like him at all. Just absolutely does not like him. Mid clip does not like him. God, so much left, right, so much ducking, so much unducking. All right, there we go. Now they're both gonna be entering the airship. Heading on to World 8. Use that, use that star. He does use the star, so he is in the clear with the points. With that no touchy. And Maiba's card is very stacked. Just like that. All right, World 8. Unfortunately, two points right there, right? He was ahead by one point. What happened? You got the clip. You got the airship clip. And these two. That's only three. Hey, what happened? That's only three. Where does the? Where did the fourth one come from? Oh! He died. That's right. That's where it came from. He does have the no items touching, and we are in World 8 now. <sighs> well, thanks for the cheers, guys! Thanks for supporting another season of this! Whee! Eternal Samus with the 10 bits. Thank you very much. Dr. Trash Panda with another gift sub to Harv 88. You guys trying to get us back up to, what is it? 
What, what are we at right now? I'm trying to get the 16 hundo. Is it this? Is that? I don't even know my own command. I don't even. Yeah, there it is. Oh, we're close. 1565. Very close. Dude, I don't even know my own commands. That's okay. You guys do. It's because I love you so much. My, but taking damage there. Not gonna be able to go for Wrangless now. I know, we're working our way there. We're working our way there. I know. I know, I'm trying. I'm trying. It's hard. You can't push people, right? You just gotta let it, let it flow. You gotta let the support flow through you. 2021 when we have 4K? Dude, that is gonna be good. That's gonna be a challenge. We're gonna go for it, though. As long as, as long as Twitch notifies all of my followers, then people can start watching. <laughs> all right, Maiva, does he have a fire flower? He does have a fire flower. And just like that, here we go, guys. Here we go. Thank you very much, Clippy Yoga. Thank you. I also remember the 69 freeway. That was. I mean, I, of course I'd be down to get that going again. All right, it's gonna be Wrangless versus Wrangless. Dude, the race in time is gonna come down to the hands, man. It's gonna come down to the hands, guys. It's gonna come down to the hands. Not a whole lot going on on either runner's side, right? Not a whole lot that we can really uh, talk about here. We already went through all the points and, and what's been going on. It's just this race two has been fantastic. damage yet. God, this, this is a long one, man. How long is this auto scroll? I don't know. Nice. No wrangless for Maiba. Not a second time in a row. And Brosis D-Leg strats. Love to see it. Not taking any damage. Get out of there. All right. Dude, Brosis gets Wrangless. This could be big for him. This could be big. Oh, man. The Hammer Brothers stunned. He, like, refused to move. Eternal Samus with the gift sub. Thank you very much. Eternal Samus. Go. Autumn is a very, very nice season. Fall is great. Get out of there, Brosis. None of that. going in the little playland right there. All right, Maiba the first one to the hands, dude. If Maiba gets two hands, Brosis gets none. This could be big. And number one. See how this goes. Two hands versus zero hands. The ultimate swing. I put the gutter and swinger. 
And two! Oh, man! Okay, what happens here? Oh! Dude, what is this? Insanity, dude! These hands! Constant emotion players! Just like that, these guys are very close to each other. Maiva, does he get three hands? He does not get three hands! Wow, what a close race now, you guys. It's gonna come down to speed. Alright. He's gonna use the leaf. Oh, no dicking around here. Neither runner is taking damage yet either. He gets the despawn. Doesn't take damage. Both players do it without killing any wrenches. Yeah, and the difference right there. Uh, Brosis is has enough lives. Nice, gonna use that star. Gonna be able to get some speed on him. Not P speed. Ah, uh, and this is exactly what Brosis needed to not do uh, for game two, right? He is he was behind by only a couple seconds, but now this is definitely costing him a little too much time. Right? A little too much time here. Oh, and he takes damage, dude! The bullets! Taking damage from him. Getting that sun kill. That's right, Brosis cannot get the sun kill. He did not get the first sun point, remember? Yeah, those two shells collide. So he's just gonna make his way through. Maiba now has to use the star. <gasps> Brosis with that death! Maiba looks like he's in the clear for items touching. Oh, and Maiba with the one up! Maiba with the one up. Does the sands of Haxor. Doesn't have a choice. Brosis is kind of locked into those sands. Boom. And just like that, Maiba is going to get punished. That was his chance. Clutch some points. I don't think either runner... I don't think Maiba's gonna use his lifeline right now, so I think I can exit out of the page there. Uh... Oh, he has a fire flower. No, there's a... There's a... There's a hidden block to the right! Oh, dang it. It was to the right of him. He had to, it was up against the wall, but that's okay. Lost the life. Not going to be able to get that. There is a one up down there, though. Can't get to it. But did get the special tile, that is correct. Well, Kirum. Whatever your name is, Cream or whatever, you can check the rules for yourself. People are just trying to help out. You don't gotta be a jerk about it. Jeez, man. People are just trying to be nice. And yeah, the whole stream will tell you Cream. Alright? Cream Corn? That's who you are now. Cream Corn. 
My bet does not care about his lives anymore because he knows he gets punished anyways. Yeah, cream corn. That's all good. As long as you know how to take a joke, and it looks like you do, so it's all good. Alright, with that, Maiba does finish. He does not get the sub 40, or the sub 54, though, unfortunately. He's not gonna get the points, so he's gonna get the first place. He's not gonna get the minus. He didn't take damage, though, and he's gonna come clutch in with 22 on the board. Just like that, he's going to finish. Ooh. Yeah, we're, we're only playing around, guys. We're just having fun, right? Hey! Who's having fun? Alright, Bros, this is not gonna be able to get the 20 lives. He's not gonna be able to get the no damage, not the sun. He's got second place, and it looks like he's gonna walk away with 15. Yo, six months, welcome back. We in there, boys. We in there. Cream Corn seems like the kind of guy that you can poke fun with, where, where neither party gets too sensitive. I'm leaving. This tournament's the best thing going on in the world right now. Thanks, man. I don't know how to pronounce it, though. Kirim? Uh... Kirim? I don't know. Alright, bros. Come on, clutch it out! Don't take damage. Don't add the 40 seconds on! Nice. Very nice, guys. Caillou or Kiyu? Kiyu Remya? 